Oh, oh, this is cool. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Transformers action figure review on the Transformers The Last Night Movies Premiere Edition Barricade. If you're trying to get your Transformers figures, you can get them at Big, big, big. Get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. You know, one thing I didn't mention in my previous Transformers The Last Night review is how much the packaging reminds me of other packaging from other figure lines. You know, like there's a Marvel Legend right there. Uh, it's not even just within Hasbro. You know, we get, we get a Power Ranger kind of looking similar right there. Or there's a Star Wars figure, you know, right there. Or we get, you know, some Walking Dead kind of fitting in, or a Harley Quinn fitting in. I mean, the only brand I have that doesn't really fit in here is freaking Mattel. Come on, catch up, Mattel! Okay, but I digest. Uh, tacos. Anyway, nice image of Barricade right over there. Looking very cool. I like how he has these brass knuckles. Kind of neat addition. Anyway, on the side, you can see it wraps around. It says Transformers. We get a Decepticon symbol at the top right there. And then on the back, you can see a couple of product shots. There's a couple other figures that you can buy from this wave. And then on the side, you get Barricade again. And on the top, you get Berserker, and then Barricade, and then it looks like Megatron. And nothing at the bottom. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here is Barricade out of the packaging. And out of all the new deluxe class figures that I have so far for the last night movie, this is my favorite figure from those four. I really like this Barricade figure a lot, man. Look at that. We get a lot of nice paint on here. But there are some issues with it uh, not on this side but on the other side you can see some extra white paint that is a little bit of a bummer uh, but really I do like the figures modes uh, you can see the white paint right over there yeah see so there's a little quirks here and there that do bother me about this figure but for the most part I really like both modes a lot I really like this alt mode right here and the robot mode is very cool too so let's go ahead and take a closer look so here's a close look at the grill looking pretty good I like this nice blue and red paint right over here we also get some nice very light baby blue for headlights so that's not looking too shabby nice sculpted details right here you know I'm liking that and the hood looks really good too. Love that we get the transparent plastic. I'm always a bigger fan of the blue tinted plastic or transparent blue plastic, but you know, it still looks pretty good to me. I like that. Uh, it is missing uh, little 867s all over the place. It's supposed to have 867s, you know, written like underneath, like right over here and down here and stuff. So it is missing that. And from the images that I saw online, there is no Decepticon symbol next to the police symbol right there. Uh, again, you can see there's some nice white paint that's not supposed to be there. And then on the side right here, instead of to punish and enslave, it's supposed to say, uh, keep calm and all hell Megatron. And then you can see the lights right over here. We got some nice emergency lights. Then no paint on the tires right here. And then on the very back, we get some nice paint for the headlights, or the tail lights anyway. Uh, from the images I saw online, the spoiler is much larger, raised up, or I guess this is not even a spoiler at all. So he's supposed to have a spoiler here, which he does not. But yeah, man, uh, for the most part, I do like how this blue looks. It's much brighter than how Barricade has looked in the past. So I think this blue is fairly accurate to the images that I've seen online. And he does roll pretty well. So I do like the rollability of this figure. Plus, he has secret storage for his Gatling gun thing right over here. I don't know if it said this in the directions. I couldn't find my instruction pamphlet. But I did manage to wedge this piece underneath right here because... Uh, the, the way I do remember seeing it is that you take this Gatling gun thing and you split it in half and you take these two ports and they port right in right there and that's how you're supposed to store it and I have this thing in you know that doesn't look bad at all to me I think that looks actually kind of neat pew, 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 you know but I have this thing where I want all the weapons totally hidden I mean it is a robot in disguise right so it's got to be totally in disguise so I like taking this end right here and just porting it in. I kind of just had to like wedge it in there, you know, so you might want to try doing that during transformation, but you know, that works pretty well and it still is rolling really nicely. So yeah, I'm really liking this a lot. Now to get some measurements on Barricade's alt mode, you can see that he's about just a little over five inches across and then only about two inches tall. And then comparing Barricade to the other two deluxe class vehicles from this wave, we have Bumblebee and Berserker. And you can see how out of scale Berserker is compared to Barricade. 
barricade right here. I mean, that's just like really tiny for an SUV. Uh, but seeing barricade and bumblebee side by side like this looks pretty cool, right? I like that. That's pretty neat. So, whoop, bam! And then for your barricade comparison, we have the first Transformers 2007 movie barricade right there in deluxe class. And then we have the Human Alliance barricade. Thank you, Sean Long. And don't you miss the Human Alliance line? I wish we could get that back. But yeah, uh, you can see how much smaller this guy is than the first version of barricade. So yeah, they have gotten smaller over the years with the deluxe class figures. And then just comparing this Human Alliance version to the new barricade, I mean, yeah, that's much larger, of course. But yeah, I like seeing blue, you know? I don't know. I, I really like both of these figures a lot. Transforming this guy again was actually quite fun, but yeah, both good figures, just very different. Alright, so I'm ready to get this guy transformed. Will you take us away, Bumblebee? Alrighty, so uh, I'm going to start by removing the weapons from the very bottom, and I did find my instruction booklet, and it does not mention anything about storing this Gatling gun thing underneath right here, so you're very welcome, alright? If, you, if you're one of those guys that wants all the weapons totally stored away, out of sight anyway. Okay, so uh, you want to go ahead and peel the back off right over here. You can see there's a seam coming through right along like that, so I'm detaching right there first off. So let's go ahead and get in there and pick that off pick that off now this figure is a bit shell for me I must warn and I do get this thing popping off a lot on me so if it pops off during the transformation I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it off because that's what I tend to do anyway and then you have these parts right over here that are gonna untab and we're gonna get the arms moved out of the way and get this shifted around and there goes this guy right here so we'll just leave that to the side like so yep I'd rather be able to transform it without that popping off but it happened so and then we're gonna lift the arms up and then rotate these in right here and rotate that in and then go ahead and bring down the front grill and tab that into place and then make sure these are actually swung a little bit farther back than I had them and then rotate this down, then rotate at the upper thigh, and then you're going to take this hinge piece and move that back, and that will form the foot, rotate, and then flip this, then rotate that back, flip it back up, so now you have some feet, and then go ahead and take these pieces and swing them up, and swing that up, and then we could take this guy again. You just get these very tiny notches that hold on to this little clear plastic piece with friction, so just port that right back in there, and then take the doors and close those, and then we can go ahead and collapse this so you can see how it's going to fold in on itself like that, and that stays on the back fairly nicely, and there we have Barricade in his robot mode looking awesome. This is a very good looking robot mode. I like it a lot. It is not perfect. Uh, I don't like the shell backpack that we're seeing right here. That does bother me some. So there are things that I don't like about it. I do think it could have had uh, some more points of articulation. Would have made me like the figure a little bit more. But kind of like with the Voyager Optimus Prime from the last night. Um, even though there are points of articulation that I think are missing. I'm still able to pose the figure around a lot. And I'm still very happy with it. So, anyway, he does come with three weapons. Let's take a closer look at those, and then we'll take a closer look at Barricade. So, first we get the baton right over here. Looking pretty sweet. Get this light beige color for it. Nice sculpted lines right here. Pretty sweet. You get this tab so you can go ahead and port it into the hip of Barricade. Oop, come on. Tab in. There it goes. So that's pretty cool. And it does fit into his hands fairly nicely, like so. So that's pretty sweet. I guess if we wanted to do this action too. It's supposed to go underneath, right? I made that mistake last time with the Black Widow. It's supposed to go like that, right? So, not too bad. And he also has this gun right here, looking pretty sweet, right? Cool, nice sculpted, all right, nice sculpted, nice sculpt, all right, and same deal. Uh, you can go ahead and just holster this onto the side. It just tabs in like, meow, there it goes. And then you can also get this in his hand and it stays nicely, fits in there really well. And then you also have the Gatling gun, or I'm calling it a Gatling gun because it looks like one right to me anyway so this is pretty sweet so you can put it on either side right here uh, I showed it earlier uh, on the left arm but you can go ahead and tab it in right in this middle section right there and then it wraps around and connects at the top so I think that is pretty cool now if you don't want him wearing this uh, I like to turn it into a jetpack yeah so uh, as you can see he does have the ports still from his alt mode and instead of facing forward like that I'll put him upside down 
And then jetpack. And here's a look at the head sculpt of Barricade. Not looking too bad at all. I like it. Nice detailed red paint for his eyes. A lot of sculpted work in there. He does have that Decepticon symbol right in the middle of his forehead in case he forgets he's a Decepticon one morning and he has to look in the mirror and go, oh yeah, that's right, that's right. Uh, comparing him to the first version of Barricade that we got from the 2007 movie, you can see that they are very different head sculpts right here. Kind of tricky to get them both the same shot, but yeah, kind of like how this one looks a little bit more. This one just looks a little bit more menacing to me. But this one's not bad, you know? And you get gray plastic on the back of his head. I don't know exactly why, but he does have the gray plastic right there. And then we get the same parts that we've seen from his vehicle mode, but we get some added detail right here with this gunmetal paint, which I wish was used more throughout the figure. Uh, we get this light beige color that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I do like seeing variety. Maybe if we had seen this right over here, or this flat gray right here, and then the more metallic looking gray right over here for these smaller parts would have been nice, but I still like the difference in colors that we get on this figure. It doesn't look too bad to me. I like it. Nice sculpted detail right here on the wrist and on the forearm, so I'm digging that. The hands look good. Now from what I, from what I saw online, uh, these brass knuckles right here say the wrong, have the wrong text sculpted on them, so it says serve and protect. I think it's punish and enslave, right? Isn't it supposed to be punish and enslave? That's what I saw online anyway, but yep, get your protect and serve right over there on the fist. Fist bump, oh, I can't reach. Yeah, poof, there we go, kind of reaches. And then here's looking at the legs, not looking too shabby. And while I was doing the transformation, I didn't really show that. You're really supposed to pull, you know, I just did, I just left it like this. You're supposed to pull this out a little farther back right there that helps with more support of the figure you know when you have him standing and of course going to the back of the figure again it's very very backpacky over here I don't really like this so much would have liked to have seen those wings uh, you know I liked how this original version has the wings sticking up that would have been pretty cool and I will say I wish this part tabbed in a little bit better even though I do appreciate the sculpted detail underneath right here but yeah if this could just stay together a little bit better I would like that now for articulation you can turn the head side to side and I am noticing nice silver paint right there on the neck that does look pretty cool and you do get a little bit of head pivot uh, you can't really look up too much and he can just really shift I mean there's just a tiny bit of up and down wobblage right there uh, shoulder joints can move outward like that and they can move all the way down I guess you can move them up and down to due to transformation and they rotate all the way around right here he does have a bicep swivel and then he has a single jointed elbow and then he does have wrist swivel which is cool but he has no waist joint so that's a piece of articulation that I wish it had so no waist joint uh, his hips can move out all the way and he can kick forward very far and back just that much he does have an upper thigh cut there goes the baton he has a single jointed knee that meets 90 degrees which is pretty good and then his ankles just kind of move up and down a little bit due to transformation no side to side movement or ankle pivot another piece of articulation I wish it had now measuring out this new barricade figure you can see that to the top of his head he's standing just under five and a half inches tall but to the top of these wheels over here he's closer to just under six inches and then here's barricade next to the new bumble be figure and berserker and you can see that barricade is actually the shortest one out of the three of these and I did review the new slash figure in case you missed that video go ahead and click the card up there and for our barricade comparison we have our the last night barricade and we have the original 2007 barricade and man these older figures really hold up I mean they're really good figures and here's barricade next to the Marvel Legends big time no let down spider-man die Autobot scum okay I'm really liking this figure a lot. I do like it. It's a very good barricade. I have gripes here and there, and I'm sure those gripes will bother me more after I watch the movie, because at this point, it's just me seeing them in those images online, but I'm sure after I watch the movie, I'm going to kind of miss the deco that I'm going to expect to be consistent with the film. So, yep, that stuff is there. I guess that's the biggest downside to this figure, but otherwise, I still really like it a lot, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button button. If you really like this video, please go ahead and share this video. If you want to leave a comment, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the figure. Let me know what you think of the review. If you want to subscribe for more Shardmas Prime videos, please hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell just to guarantee that these videos are showing up in your feed. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll all be over at ShardmasPrime.net. And you can follow me on the social media at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links in the description below. I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. We're shot, we're shot, we're shot in your face, I said we're shot, we're shot, we're shot.
shirt, please, I said, we're shirt, we're shirt, we're shirt.